Welcome, ladies and gents. We've got some Amazon Tunnel at mid elo. These guys got some strats. They know their civilizations, I can tell, because they picked some good ones here. And this north to south spawn is somehow way cooler than any of the other spawns I've seen on this map. Uh, the idea of Amazon Tunnel is that you have one choke point through the middle, and uh, typically you see players wall it up, and then obviously you fight through that choke point, right? Uh, so in the north of the map, we have Volmer. Volmer is playing as the Turks. And in the south of the map, we have Bohemians for Dapobler. Uh, and I think both of these civs are so incredibly good with fast dim strategies into gunpowder. So if you like gunpowder, I would say this is probably the game for you. Um, you know, the important things to mention about this map is you do have three boars on top of having the deer and having the berries. So it does make it easier to get food to go for fast feudal plays or possibly uh, going for just fast castles. And you have three big old tiles of gold at your base and one pile of stone. So not as much stone as a normal map, but more gold. And there is some extra stone and gold and the five relics towards the middle. By the way, I believe my relics are bigger now. I downloaded a mod which puts the little star on top of the relics, but I think it also makes them a little bit bigger. Um, and fortunately, some of my mods are carrying into casting now, and I was too lazy today to disable my mods. So we have the tiny little pine trees, which I find is very helpful for um, for, cat, uh, for gameplay. Excuse me. <clears throat> I apologize. I didn't feel like removing them, <clears throat> restarting my game, and then jumping back into this game. So it is a uh, Amazon pine tree. That's what this is. And if you haven't seen them before, then you're just not as experienced as me. I, I go to the Amazon all the time. And, uh, you know, we camp out there and these do exist. So it's fine. Um, we just planted a bunch of new trees. Okay. So this is similar to Black Forest where you want to wall up. Only in Black Forest, it's played on Explored. So that's like kind of cheating, right? Because it like does half the work for you. Red had to scout this. And Red did not scout this tree. Otherwise, I feel like a wall there would make a lot of sense because it walls in most of the relics. And again, these guys are can be pretty aggressive at this elo. And red and blue encounter each other here. And this villager continues to walk for red. Both players aware that hill bonuses are important here for damage. 41 HP on the scout. And blue's going to see the villager now. And how will blue react to this? You can tell blue is kind of distracted. And blue's going to fix that now. But we are seeing red just make houses here. <laughs> and blue's like, kid, get off my lawn. <laughs> uh, we are going to see five villagers coming <laughs> this way. <laughs> and red doesn't even stick around to complete that house, which is actually really, really bad for red. Because red needs a house right now. <laughs> <laughs> And Blue's going to attack the house. Again, it's like, dude, this is my property. Get off this. What are you doing? Oh, man, that's funny. You know, that statement right there uh, gave me a blast from the past. So I, uh, one of my best friends, still to this day, was my neighbor growing up, right? So, we were, like, we knew each other since the age of one or whatever. Um, oh, God, hold on. Story time's over because Red's coming back. Red wants to finish that house. Red is so determined to finish that house, but now it's going to go back as Blue just walls it up. Um, okay, so, like, our property was adjacent to my friend's property, right? And I want to know if there's anyone out there who has similar stories. And we we went to the same school. We went to the same church. We were neighbors. Like, naturally, we just get fed up with each other every once in a while. But we had no one else to really, like, hang out with. So it's just like, you know, kids get, like, attitudes and whatnot, and we get in fights and spats and whatnot. Like, his thing was, if I was always, like, over at their house or, like, the field in between my house and my parents' house, um, or, sorry, our house and his parents' house, but we get in a fight. It's the classic, get off my property. This isn't even, this isn't your property. This is our property. Did anyone else have little fights like that? <laughs> I, that was a pretty common thing for us growing up for whatever reason. <laughs> And I'd be like, it's not your property, it's your dad's property. It's like, it's, I asked my dad, and it's, what's mine, what, what's, his is ours, it's our family's. That happened a lot, and for me, I mean, I miss my friend, right? 
So for me, my brain just went there. You guys might be like, man, you had problems growing up. What was wrong with you? And I absolutely did have problems beyond spending way too much time on Age of Empires 2. But, uh, oh god, now all the stories, all the crazy stories from childhood are coming. Anyways, I'll talk, I'll, I'll save some stories for later. Um, you know, we, we've got this villager still here, and he has called in reinforcements. And Blue is, uh, dropping some houses here. Now, Blue recognizes that Red Scout is weaker, but Blue is going to be very surprised and possibly a little annoyed by the fact that there's militia now coming forward. And Blue laughs at it. Have you outgrown your problems? I mean, I have new, I have adult problems now. But I, obviously, I, I, we don't argue over, we don't argue in the same stupid, annoying way we did when we were in elementary school anymore. So Blue laughs, guys. Blue just can't believe it. Like, Blue's like, I thought this game was going to be chill. Apparently not. Blue, uh, you're not going to be laughing if this happens. Blue, Blue, Blue. There's a boar. There's a... Oh, God. Okay. Well, that's a little painful. And, guys, things like that happen when you are making it messy for your opponent. So that is all something that Red accomplished because of this level of aggression. Dang. So I think Blue did the right thing to initially deal with the, the villager. I don't know about sending five. Um, but the problem with a big choke point is that it's quite a lot of resources to wall it up. Still, though, I think this is fine. Red has shown no signs of, of not being aggressive in the feudal age. I think what Red could do is Red could just wall this. Because I think someone in Blue's position is going to assume that there's going to be continuous aggression. How is the KD 0 to 1 for both? Oh, Red must have lost the villager to a boar as well. <laughs> oh, you just missed Red's. If Red sees this on YouTube later on, he's going to be like, Phew, thank God T90 missed that. Well, sorry, Blue. They had no Feudal Age click up for Red. In fact, Red is making even another militia. That's a lot of militia, man. And now Blue's just going to add stone walls. Red. <laughs> Guys, how much do you want to bet he wanted to go for three militia? Because he knows that's a thing. That's a strat. But he forgot that there was one in the middle of the map. So I think he wanted to get three. And thought that he had made three originally. He did. He just forgot about it. Also. This map generation. The north to south generation. Looks so much better. Than the east to west. Or the, the north east to the southwest. Like, Maybe it's just because it's different. But this looks really cool. Not sure if everyone will agree with that. But, okay. Hmm. How is Red 1200 ELO like this? Dude, he's macroing really well. He's macroing really well. He, he, I mean, his gold count's really high. But he's got good farm count. He's had... I guess his idle TC time has been a little bit high. He's applying pressure, which I think is really important aspect of, of getting rank and, and doing well. And it's just an aggressive game. All right, let's, let's not bring out the... Well, at my ELO, when I play 1200, they would never do that. Anything can happen. Let's see if Red clicks up. Now, 31 villagers? Resources are going to be sky high by the time he eventually makes it to the next stage. He's going to click feudal, but, I mean, he's got so many farms, and he's got the berries, and he's got the lumberjacks and mining. So I think it's probably time for him to click up here. Now, this villager is going to walk all the way home. The militia... They made it in! They're gonna deny a tower! Thank God he made a fourth one. Blue's gotta be so frustrated right now. Like, are you kidding me? Come on, bro. Militia? And it just forces reactions and mistakes. And when you're under pressure, you make mistakes. And Red is microing super well. Red is on the way to Feudal Age. That could be a villager kill. Blue's actually done a really good job to save that one. Uh, that one's gonna go down, however... And again, blue is so much idle time. This villager's actually come back. Another militia's coming forward now. And look at Red's micro. Red's going to kill another. Bam. Go to the grave like the villager that tried to kill a boar earlier. Another one. Blue, save it. Save it. Save it. Save it. Rip. Why add militia? Well, it's because it crazy things happen. 
This villager's just right back to his old life. <laughs> it, the, the interesting thing is, though, I still might prefer Blue's position. Because Blue will have walls. Blue just needs the buildings to go up to the next stage. And then Blue could likely have enough to drop a castle. I think the important thing for Red is balance out the eco and get the buildings yourself. And then stonewall this. I, again, there's just like random militia. This guy's in the trees. And then this guy was forgotten about. Also, something that could be really funny. Uh, that has happened so many times to me, which is why I know it's a thing. Is if blue starts to be aggressive and push this choke point and add siege, red's gonna lose so many houses. Like building houses here isn't necessarily a, a bad idea, but if there's aggression, you sometimes forget and there are problems. Okay. But guys, if you are aggressive like this on a map with one single choke point and you force them to wall close to their own base, wall the choke point behind it do not allow them to just run through this is a very crucial thing okay blue will drop a castle when i talked about turks bohemians i thought you know, lots of aggression with gunpowder we actually have a stable here look at the scouting here from blue blue scout has made it through and blue scout i don't know if it's auto scout or what we'll see if he's controlling it but he it has scouted a stable and that's going to be a dead scout now that means we could see some knights, maybe? Which is very uncommon for the Bohemians. Hmm. Red clicked up right away after making to the next stage. He's going to drop an outpost there. This militia is not exactly scouting, but I don't think that's that big a deal. And we now have a spearman headed forward. We're going to have another spearman as well. And I wouldn't surprise me at all if Red makes a knight. You want resources gathered? There you go. So pretty close, all things considered. Bohemians also got the gold mining upgrade for free, so I think now that he's been in feudal... Well, actually, wait a second. Now he's not even on gold. Red is a very confusing player. <laughs> for all the right reasons, Red is a very confusing player. Is blue going fast imp here? The resources are kind of looking like it. You would need two buildings... Oh, yeah. Red's, blue's going fast imp. And red is going to lose the spear into a house. Hmm. So I was thinking we'd see a monastery for red to get the relics. We see a second town center now for more economy. There's the monastery. Still no walls here. Red now bought stone for another TC. And... Still has 95 stone. Is he going to try and wall here? You definitely want to wall here. For blue, you've got to push the middle nonstop with everything you've got with this fast imperial. Red's going to have a much stronger economy with this approach. But red's not investing into army, right? Which is why stone walls are important here. Wood upgrade, farm upgrade for red. And I think it's been a pretty fun game so far. Blue is like, the, the thing about one TC all-ins at mid-elo, guys, is, well, I actually have an argument against what I'm about to say, but the micro is just usually not good enough to be able to get the value from it. Economy is, at least from my understanding, economy is still so much more valuable. However, as, you know, to play devil's advocate, if the micro is not good enough from the one TC players, I think the micro also is going to lack from the defensive players, right? Like, Red's got a scout, a spearman, and a militia, and a couple monks. If there's janissaries and bombard cannons and hand cannons, I don't know if Red's going to have what it takes to stop that. And there's going to be a castle there from Blue. So Blue's also added the archer range, which makes me think it's going to be hand cannons, because you can... You get chemistry for free with the Turks. But guys, if Red loses this game, Stonewall would have bought so much more time. Right? So you, you force them into this type of wall, great. Make sure they don't take the map by Stonewalling. It's like the most important thing about this map. How to counter Turk, Fast Stimp, Janissary, Bomber Cannons with Bohemians. 
you wall, you buy time, and then you go for your own bomber cans and gunpowder with better economy. Because again, the fast imp, you're at the limit with resources. You're really struggling. Remember, blue kind of laughed earlier, which I found interesting when the aggression was coming from red. And red's going to drop another monastery and a siege workshop with the forward villager, which is kind of interesting, and it's snagging all these relics as quickly as possible. Yeah, you could go skirms, but but the thing is, is castle age units don't do too well against what uh, blue is making. So if, if you have an imperial age battle, then yeah, mixing in skirms can be good. Obviously a little bit risky against Turks because they can go hostars, but then again, this is an all-in push. Okay, so you should have some type of an idea now if you're red. You've seen double archer range, and you've seen the castle, and you see a cannon, and you see the hand cannons. And now red's going to stonewall. Okay, so I like how red has now realized I need to fortify this. Obviously, we know that fortifying here with a couple layers would have bought so much more time. But let's see. Uh, are Janissaries better than hand cannons? They are. I don't remember if there's a cost difference between them. But they're not, like, way better. Janissaries have one more range, but they have less HP, and I think the attack's the same. Um, forgive me for not remembering specifically. Remember when I said Red was going to lose these houses, by the way? <laughs> I, I wasn't wrong. Resources collected now as Red has all relics but one. Wow, that's crazy, actually. I expect this to climb and climb and climb, but I thought Red would have more. I don't like gates in these instances. Why, why are you deleting a house? Why are you deleting houses? Oh, he wants to build on that hill. Oh, boy. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, chat. I'm going to tell you why you don't build that castle. You don't build that castle because if he sees it, he can get it from the other side of your walls. If you have the walls somewhere else, that's fine. You are now giving him a target. But I think the mad lad is going to try and convert all this stuff with monks right now. He's got six monks. He's getting redemption so he could convert the cannons. You don't need redemption for the, uh, for the, like the, the dudes. Well, I, okay, I guess this guy's a dude. You need it for the siege the thing about this pressure it's insane and look at blue blue seems experienced with this type of push it's gonna drop an outpost along the way okay monks going for conversions now the castle's been spotted and now the bombard cannon is just gonna go right after that castle you really need imp here red you need a lot more and blue continues to focus and spend resources the militia dies we are going to have more and more coming forward from blue. I don't know how many times blue has lost a bombard cannon to a monk. Clearly enough times, though. Great, great reaction there from blue. Hmm. Okay. We are going to see... Oh, a cav archer. That's probably a misclick. Turks do have good cav archers, but you need other upgrades for them to be effective. If more monks from red, plus sight wagons, but I, I really think red is out of ideas here. Like so many villagers, but just doesn't have the army. We are going to see ranges now. We're going to see upgrades out of the blacksmith, which is probably with, for the skirmisher idea we spoke of. If you take one good trade against this, if you hold against this, it could all be doable. Or even just delay it and convert the cannon. Ho, 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 monk! Has to back away. I'd repair this castle if I were in uh, Red's position. Yeah, there you go. Repair it. Convert the cannon. Convert it, convert it, convert it. Oh, so unlucky, dude. No, so unlucky. That's the RNG of monks, man. You never know what you're going to get. Sometimes it's fast. Sometimes it's slow. It's unpredictable. Oh, jeez. Bodkin Arrow coming in, though. Uh, blue misclicking a little bit. And could should lose a cannon if life is fair. And never mind. Red backed away. Had he stayed there, maybe it would have happened. That should be a conversion. Boom. Boom. The hold is on. 
folks. The hold is officially on. Hussite Wagon's not too bad, right? They're super tanky, right? So it just tanks a lot of shots. If Red in this very stressful moment <laughs> could sell wood to go up to the Imperial Age and hold on here, I think it could be possible. There he, he sells food. Don't sell food! What? what do, I think he misclicked. <laughs> you actually need the food to go imp. He sold the wrong one. Ah, uh, those those guys, they didn't really believe all that much anyway, so they die fast. Um. Okay, well, he's going to stay in Castle Age, and bam, gets another one. Huge, actually. <laughs> The monks were actually a game-saving play for him. I do have to ask, though, what does more villagers do for you right now? Oh, he got another one! Woo-wee! Castle, by the way, just crossed 10 kills. So, this is what I had said about the low eco plays. It has to work all the time, and it's really hard to get max value. And Red is on the way to Imp. Red has a 50 villager lead. The castle still stands... And now is where you want to research chemistry if you're Bohemians, because you can research it in the Castle Age. This is the perfect time. We do have the university. I don't think chemistry's been in yet. Monks again, going for conversion. Keep in mind, these monks have 9 range. So they don't have 12 range yet. Block printing is available in Imp, which is now 2 minutes away from red. And blue has got to be feeling some level of frustration here, because this is a push that... That has the potential to kill. And Red's just been able to chip away at this army. Bait blew into the castle fire so many times. And the Hussite wagons are such a good distraction. It's such a good distraction. And it happens again. Dang, man. Really impressed with Red's hold here. Really impressed. But we're not finished yet. We have more text coming in for Red. He's going to continue to try this whole Monk Hussite Wagon plan. And, well, okay, backs away there. But, you know, any amount of time that Blue's attacking Monks instead of the castle is good for him. But he hasn't produced Skirms yet, right? He's still microing this so much. Blue's got two Bomber Cannons now. There's still a lot of Hand Cannons. The castle could go down. I haven't seen Chemistry yet. It's possible Red could lose this game. The blue's gonna drop a forward castle here with one vill. One single vill. It's also very hard for Red to click the bombard cannons right now. He's misclicked, actually, crucially. Oh, he switched targets! And the monk goes down! We are not finished. We have some mid elo clownery. The non stop gunpowder push. And now the skirmisher defense here for Red. I don't know if conscription will complete. Also, Bombard Cannons don't take that much damage from the Skirmishers. And while Skirms do bonus damage against the Hand Cannons, they still get wrecked by the Hand Cannons because Hand Cannons do so much damage. Blue, I would send more Vills, though. I don't know where they are, but you should send more forward. Red just needs to take a deep breath. Actually, that's the sound that is that's the sound that goes off when you create villagers. But you know what I mean. Um... And you need to, you need to just get some technologies here, and you need to create a couple, a little bit of army, and you're fine. You played really good. You have lots of resources. Just shh, okay, and then add more skirmishers, and you've got it. And then you're good. A little bit of block printing action for extra monk range is good too. You've got all the tools, but if you lose this castle, and blue then has a forward castle. You could have some pretty massive problems here. It's the beauty of this game is like everything has to happen at the right time. And that's why the fast imps can work is because they're constantly smashing you in the face. Look at this cannon. He's clearly facing to the... Okay, well, he was facing to the side, somehow shooting forward. Oh, boy. It feels like the monks have to get conversions here or Red is dead. Oh, God. Well, that's the opposite of what I said needed to happen. Let's see how the skirmishers fare, though. They have good upgrades. These cannons should be going for the skirms. Uh, the bomber cannons, that is. Not exactly happening. Stressful time. 72 population versus 115. Stats tell me that I think the 115 population player should win, but he has zero army. The panic has set in. He has to add houses. 
He just had a long day at work, and now the stress is far too much for him. Can he handle this? Blue's finishing this castle. Blue's going to add more archer ranges. Blue's had consistent production from those ranges. And this game has been awesome. And this is a tough time now for Red, because he's probably setting his production into the back of his base so he can mass. And Blue's hand cannons are going to pick them off. A couple monks there. Okay, converts a cannon. There you go. Or hand cannon. That's good. Also, all the relics are in there. Monks go down. Blue has not really given up on Eco High Max. His TC has been producing almost this entire time. I mean, nine minutes seems like a lot, but he's had one TC and he's been doing a lot of... Uh, he's been focusing a lot on his aggression here. Okay, interesting moment in this game because Blue kind of separated his hand cannons from his Bombard cannons and he simply had too many buildings to take out and Red is now starting to finally push this back. He's going to lose a lot of skirmishers but suddenly the, the numbers of hand cannons aren't really here. Uh, Red's micro is not all that perfect but, you know, let's just research if needs to, you know, spend our resources. And these cannons are so strong. Red's like, gotta make sure I take the relics though. Got to make sure I take the relics here. And Red's making more buildings right underneath this. And, and Blue is still repairing cannons. We've got a monk now going for conversion on the cannon. It's going to get it. Red, you got to kill the hand cannons, dude. Don't focus down bomber cannons in these scenarios, guys. It, it, it takes so long to kill them with skirmishers. And it could lose you the game. I think if you just let... I mean, obviously, you're going to lose skirmishers to the bomber cannons, which is why he probably tried to do that. Uh, realistically, what you really need there is you need the hand cannons out of the picture. But again, it's like when the production's coming right into your face this entire time, where do you have space to build? Red's like running out of space. He's trying to add more units. But some of the buildings he's producing from are still on the front here. Skirm's counter bombard cannons. <sighs> Not really. Not really. I don't even think they do bonus damage, right? Don't they just do one damage? Oh, this is a crazy game. Red still has a 50 population lead. Blue still being aggressive, though. And army matters. We have Cavalier. Cavalier! Cavalier! Red's like, I need more. Right? He's clearly given up on what he's been making here. Because it hasn't necessarily worked. He does have a Hufnitsa on the way somewhere. Fails to get a conversion there. Relics pop out of the monasteries again. Villagers getting wrecked. Blue still being aggressive. Blue also going to add some knights. I think Blue takes this game, guys. It is so incredibly hard against these pushes to, to get things together. You have so little space to move. And he's Red's been making the units, but he can never get them to be in one solid mass. Because Blue is always right up in his business. So I really think, I mean, this cannon could maybe help out with a big shot. I think Red's got a couple more moments to live in this game. And, and then it's tough, right? Because then you have to react and move units around, and then you forget to produce as well. Oh, God. That's a massive shot, though. Oh, jeez. That shot was sick. If Nietzsche could have just saved the day there. A castle from Blue? Blue, you're going to lose that castle. Delete it. Delete it. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, God. What is this game? <laughs> And Blue says, wow, with a, with a smiley face. He's having fun. I've never had that much fun killing my own castle, I can tell you that much. Or, I guess, throwing away the stone. He didn't kill his own castle. But Red might not even know what that wow was for. Red just sees all the stress and all the struggle and is only worried about that. We know, guys, Red has the resources, but Red is struggling to produce. Has is like making the ranges, but I think is just so up against it right now. As both players lose a cannon there, that's obviously much better for blue, as blue has more cannons. Hussar upgrade is free with Turks, as we established earlier. And Hussars are pretty good against Skirms. These ranges now producing more units here. But again, where are they headed? Rally points probably set here. They're just you're losing units as you try and get things together. We do have villagers attacking. This is not something I expected to see here. Okay, bit of a distraction. Blue villagers will then just repair the cannons again. Blue did a really good job at that, actually. This is good, too. Just, like, one unit on the other side. I'm not sure Blue tried that intentionally. 
Okay, Red says it's my turn to build a castle that will probably go down. But wait! It's a distraction! But wait! Where is Blue's army all of a sudden? But wait! What is happening? The castle's gonna stay up! The cannons for Blue are going down! What? Is the eco finally gonna pay off? You've just got nothing! It's because he's trying to make hussars out of these stables! Whoa! And Blue calls the GG. Says, I hate this map. Dot, 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 dot. And Red wins. Just as we all expected. Whoa, dude. Sheesh. That was crazy. I mean, I really, I knew that Red had more villagers. And I know that eventually Eco pays off. But Blue was taking like, such good fights throughout that whole game. And it really felt like he was going to be able to snowball that. I think if he would have had more villagers building that castle, it probably might have completed it. And then Red's not able to push this that easily. Um, but, you know, the, the reigning theme with all ins, guys, is that the fights have to be good and you have to kill them fast because they'll be able to make more units than you. That was just a really good game. I like blue seemed a little frustrated blue hats off to you i think that was just you played really well i also think red played really well in this game it's so easy from both perspectives when we're watching this like blue needed to get better value from the fights sure red needed to like wall up more and defend a little bit better sure but dude it was so chaotic so freaking chaotic uh someone says blue is still winning man i think from here he's not i would have liked to have seen him play on a little bit longer but again he knew, like, I don't have the relics, and my opponent's economy is so much stronger. And at this point, like, finally Red got an army count that was over 30. Like, Red, Red was just struggling the whole way through. Look at the difference in the resources collected. Like, Red did such a good job with the economy. This game becomes so much easier for Red if Red would have just walled here, though, right? So if you're playing Amazon Tunnel and you're still, like, a little confused on it, that's my lesson to you, is just wall more, right? This situation for Red, where he dropped this castle right behind his stone walls, was so bad for him. <laughs> I mean, he, he defended so nicely. I thought he was completely dead for so long in this game. Um, but And so I, I, I want to say that's impressive. But I think he made life more difficult for himself by giving Blue that target. Just wall here, and then wall here. You probably would be in faster. You probably make more skirms, etc. As for Blue, my tip to you... Well, it did seem like Hussar was a bit of a trap here, right? Look at this. Okay, right here. This is right before he dies, right? Actually, let's even go before that. Okay, 18 army, 19 army. Okay, right here. So this stage of the game... Okay, go slow, Capture H. Jeez. He's going to try and mix in Hussars. I don't actually hate it. I think a couple Hussars is good. But I think doing that at the expense of your kill unit, like your best unit, the hand cannons, is where you could kind of fall apart. I think that's what happened to him here because he you could see he's just queued up. He put basically all of his food in these two stables. And then he gets super fixated on that castle. That was a 300 IQ castle from Red. So he gets super fixated on the castle. And then now suddenly he's got no army. But it turned around so quick, right? Finally, like, maybe these archer ranges from red were really what saved him. Despite the fact this Hussar was attacking his vills. The additional production and just, like, that last real attempt at massing units finally paid off there for red. But, guys, that was 1200 ELO, right? These guys played super good Age of Empires 2. That was an extremely high level. I know 1200 might not blow your socks off. Be like, whoa, that's their ELO? Seriously, though, they played really strong. Great understanding of the game. Good understanding of the civilizations. So I hope people enjoyed it. Um, all in favor of making all generations of African clearing be north to south like this. Uh, just like the video or leave a comment. Uh, maybe the devs will listen. I think this looks really cool. But it also is possible that this is... Uh, it only looks cool because we never saw this before. <laughs> I'm not actually advocating... <laughs> That the only generations be north to south. I take that back. But it looks cool. So 
Um, it added an extra bit of flavor to this. And did I say African clearing? I de I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say Amazon tunnel. Um, I am a flawless content creator who never makes mistakes. Hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching and party. Ah, don't edit it out. It's fine. It's fine. Wow, this looks really cool. Um, hold on. Let's not do the intro yet. Hardy, don't put this in there. Hardy, don't put this in the video. People are going to click off.